Hello everyone. I am Ali Akbar, an engineer whose passion lies in the realm of automobile and the technology. Today we are diving into the exciting world of hybrid electric vehicles or HEVs. Whether you are a budding automobile engineer, a mechanical enthusiast, or an electrical student, this lecture is tailor-made for you. But before we dive into the mechanics of HEVs, let's outline the key areas we'll cover in this lecture. Our journey begins with a look back at the history of HEVs, offering a brief glimpse into their fascinating origin. We'll then move on to understanding what a hybrid electric vehicle truly is, diving into the fundamental principles behind this vehicle. Next, we'll dissect the layout of HEVs, exploring the inner workings of these extraordinary machines. We'll also demystify the powertrain configuration, which lies at the heart of HEVs, and explain how HEVs work, unveiling the magic behind their operation. To make informed decisions, we'll impartially weigh the pros and cons of HEVs, examining the advantages and disadvantages they bring to the table. Furthermore, we'll venture into the real world to explore examples of HEV models available in the market today. So, get ready to expand your knowledge and gain insights into this transformative technology. Our story begins in the early 20th century, in the year 1901. The automotive world was a vastly different place and one man's innovative spirit would set the stage for a revolution. That man was none other than Ferdinand Porsche. Yes, the same Porsche of the famous Porsche Automobile Company. In 1901, Ferdinand Porsche introduced the Lohner Porsche Mixed Hybrid and it was nothing short of groundbreaking. The Mixed Hybrid featured an innovative design with an electric motor integrated into each of the front wheel hubs. It also had a gasoline engine that could generate electricity to recharge batteries, much like modern plug-in hybrids. This pioneering concept laid the foundation for the HEVs we see today, blending the efficiency of electric power with the range of internal combustion engine. Now that we have glimpsed into history, let's dwell deeper into what exactly constitutes a hybrid electric vehicle. An HEV is a type of vehicle designed to combine the strengths of both gasoline-powered and electric cars. Think of it as a best of both worlds solution. HEVs have two main sources of power, an internal combustion engine and an electric motor. This combination of power sources improves fuel efficiency and reduces emissions. And here's an interesting fact. Some HEVs can run exclusively on electric power for short trips, saving you fuel and minimizing noise. That's the essence of a hybrid electric vehicle, a vehicle that blends gasoline and electric power to deliver an efficient and eco-friendly driving experience. Now, let's dive into the layout of this vehicle, that is to say, let's dissect the anatomy of hybrid electric vehicles, breaking it down into components that engineering students can easily grasp. HEVs at their core consist of 9 primary components and understanding this layout is like peeking under the hood of the future of transportation. First, we have the traditional internal combustion engine. You can think of this as the heart of the vehicle, much like the gasoline engine you find in regular cars. It's responsible for providing power to the vehicle when needed and interestingly, it can also double as a battery charger. Second in line is the electric motor. Powered by a high voltage battery pack, this motor acts as a muscle of the vehicle offering additional power to the wheels when required. But here's the fascinating part. During braking or coasting, it transforms into a generator converting kinetic energy back into electricity to recharge the battery. Third, we have the battery pack, a crucial component usually located in the rear or under the vehicle's floor. This is like the energy reservoir of the HEV, storing electrical energy that can be used to power the electric motor. It's also where regenerative energy from braking is stored. Fourth, we have the transmission. The transmission in a hybrid electric vehicle plays a crucial role in efficiently managing the power flow between the internal combustion engine, electric motor, and the vehicle's wheels. There are two common types of transmission used in HEVs for this purpose. First is continuously variable transmission, and the second is dual clutch transmission. Fifth, we have the powered electronics. These components control the flow of electricity between the battery electric motor and internal combustion engine. They also convert the high voltage direct current from the battery to the alternating current needed for the electric motor. Next we have regenerative braking system. This system captures and converts kinetic energy into electricity during braking or coasting, 
which is then used to recharge the battery. Seventh, we have the controller or computer. HEVs have a sophisticated onboard computer that manages the operation of the internal combustion engine, electric motor, and battery to optimize fuel efficiency and performance. Eight, we have the fuel tank. Since most HEVs have an internal combustion engine, they also have a fuel tank for gasoline or another fuel. Lastly, we have the charging system. In plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, there is a charging system to connect the vehicles to an external power source for recharging the battery. These nine components work together seamlessly like a well-coordinated team to deliver an efficient and dynamic driving experience. Now that we have covered the layout, let's delve into the powertrain configuration of this remarkable vehicle, an essential aspect that influences how this vehicle operates. HEVs come in several distinct powertrain configuration, each with its unique way of blending gasoline and electric power. So let's explore them. First is parallel hybrid. Imagine this as a team effort between the internal combustion engine and the electric motor. Both of them are mechanically connected to the transmission, working together to drive the vehicle. When you need power, they join forces. It's like having two engines under the same hood, efficiently sharing the load. Present day example includes the Toyota Prius and Ford Fusion Hybrid. Second we have Series Hybrid. Here things work a, di a bit differently. The internal combustion engine serves a specific role. It acts only as a generator to charge the battery. Meanwhile, the electric motor takes the lead in directly driving the wheels. It's an efficient setup where the IC engine doesn't directly drive the wheels, making it more like a generator that keeps the electric motor going. Present day example includes BMW i3 with range extender. Third, we have the plug-in hybrid. These HEVs offer a unique twist. They can be charged externally like your smartphone or laptop. This exciting part is that they can operate exclusively on electricity for a certain range before the gasoline engine kicks in. So it's like having the option to go all electric for your daily commute, saving fuel and reducing emissions. Present day example includes the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEVs and the plug-in version of a Toyota Prius. For the fourth powertrain configuration, we have mild hybrid EVs. Mild hybrid have a small electric motor that helps the gasoline engine but cannot propel the vehicles on electric power alone. They primarily improve fuel efficiency by reducing the load on the engine during acceleration. An example for mild hybrid includes some version of the Honda Accord and Hyundai Sonata. Next we have the micro hybrids. Micro hybrids are the simplest form of hybridization. They feature a start-stop system that shuts off the engine when the vehicle is stopped and restarts it when the driver releases the brake or engages the clutch. This improves fuel efficiency in city driving. Lastly, we have the hybrid fuel cell vehicles. Fuel cell vehicles use a hydrogen fuel cell to generate electricity, which powers the electric motor to drive the vehicle. They produce electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, emitting only water vapor as a byproduct. If you are interested in learning more about it, I have covered hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles extensively in my previous lecture. One of the best examples of FCV presently is Hyundai Nex. Now, what's truly remarkable is that the different powertrain configurations allow engineers to tailor HEVs to specific needs, whether it's maximizing efficiency or offering all electric driving options. Now before we delve into the inner workings of HEVs, there's an exciting announcement that I would like to share with you. It's about a platform that's revolutionizing the way students just like you navigate their academic path. Whether you are a student struggling with assignment, project or thesis work or you are in search of a perfect tutor who understands your academic requirement inside out, the Scholars Club has got you covered. With just a sign up, you unlock a world of possibilities. Fill out your academic details and budget and their cutting-edge machine learning platform will do the rest. Watch as your requirements spread across the platform, attracting the perfect tutor who's tailor-made for you. It's like magic and all-in-one experience where you can choose from a pool of proposals sent by the tutors or manually search for the ideal tutor using their state-of-the-art search engine. And now here's the best part. Visit thescholarsclub.com or download their user-friendly app from the Play Store or Apple Store. Your academic success awaits. Now coming back to our fascinating journey to hybrid electric vehicles, 
let's explore the inner workings of how hybrid electric vehicles operate. To grasp how HEVs function, it's essential to know how power flows within them and how various components collaborate to propel the vehicle. So let's take a closer look at the mechanical processes within an HEV when you press the accelerator. When the driver presses the accelerator pedal, a signal is sent to the vehicle's control system indicating the need for more power. The electric motor, which is already engaged, immediately draws power from the high voltage battery pack. The electric motor converts electrical energy into mechanical power, directly rotating the wheels. This quick response provides immediate torque for acceleration. As acceleration demands increase, the gasoline engine starts and engages ad adding additional power. With both the electric motor and the gasoline engine in operation, they work together to provide the required power for acceleration. This coordinated operation ensures that you receive the necessary power efficiently when you press the accelerator. And during deceleration or coasting, the electric motor shifts into a generator mode like an efficient converter. It captures kinetic energy generated during braking and converts it back into electricity which is subsequently stored in the battery for future use. This seamless coordination of components allow HEVs to adapt to different driving scenarios while maximizing efficiency and reducing environmental impact, ensuring their capability to deliver both power and environmental friendliness across various driving conditions. Now, let's assess hybrid electric vehicles from an engineering viewpoint, breaking down the advantages and disadvantages. This comprehensive evolution will equip you with the knowledge needed to make informed decisions. So let's start with the pros of HEVs. First is fuel efficiency. Hybrid electric vehicles excel in optimizing fuel consumption, achieving higher kilometer per liter or liters per 100 kilometers, reducing the carbon footprint. Second is emission reduction. With their ability to operate on electric power at low speeds and during deceleration, HEVs emit fewer pollutants, making them environmentally friendly. Third is regenerative braking. The regenerative braking system not only improves fuel efficiency but also extends the lifespan of braking components, reducing maintenance costs. Fourth is hybrid synergy. The synergy between the gasoline engine and electric motor allows for smoother and more efficient power delivery, enhancing overall vehicle performance. Last is electric only mode. Some HEVs offer the option to operate exclusively on electricity for short distance, reducing fuel consumption and emission in urban settings. Now, let's focus our attention towards the negatives or cons of HEVs. First is complexity. HEVs are more mechanically complex than traditional vehicles due to dual power sources, which can lead to higher maintenance costs and specialized servicing requirements. Second is initial cost. The advanced technology in HEVs often result in a higher initial purchase price compared to conventional vehicles though this cost difference is decreasing over time. Third is limited all-electric range. While some HEVs offer electric-only modes, the range is usually limited compared to pure electric vehicles. Fourth is weight. The additional component includes a battery pack makes HEVs heavier than non-hybrid counterparts, potentially affecting handling and performance. Last is dependence on gasoline. HEVs still rely on gasoline, so they are not a complete solution for a fully sustainable transportation future. As you can see, HEVs offer substantial advantages in terms of fuel efficiency, emission reduction, and regenerative braking. However, their complexity, initial cost, and dependence on gasoline present challenges. It's important to weigh this factor based on the specific engineering and environmental goals. Now that we have explored the engineering aspect of HEVs, let's highlight some notable examples of these vehicles in the market. In today's automotive market, there's a diverse selection of HEVs from various manufacturers. Let's take a look at a few well-known models that have made their mark in the world of hybrid technology. First is Toyota Prius. The Toyota Prius is often considered the pioneer of hybrid technology. It features impressive fuel efficiency and has been a symbol of eco-conscious driving for years. Second is Honda Insight. Honda's Insight is another popular choice known for its slick design and efficient hybrid powertrain. It's a blend of style and sustainability. Third is Ford Escape Hybrid. 
Ford's Escape Hybrid combines the benefits of an HEV with the practicality of an SUV. It offers ample space and a fuel-efficient powertrain. Ford is Hyundai Ioniq. The Hyundai Ioniq lineup includes various models including hybrid, plug-in hybrid and electric versions. It provides flexibility to cater to different driving preferences. Each of these HEVs brings its unique set of features and benefits to the table. Whether it's exceptional fuel efficiency, stylish design or versatility, this model offers choices to fit various preferences and needs. As you explore the world of HEVs in your engineering studies, keep an eye out for these remarkable examples that showcases the advancement in hybrid technology. Now, before we conclude our journey through the world of hybrid electric vehicles, there's one important thing to do, and that is, if you found this lecture informative and engaging, please consider giving us a thumbs up by liking this video. Sharing knowledge is a wonderful gift, so share this video with your friends and colleagues who might find it valuable. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting engineering content in the future. We appreciate your support and it helps us continue creating educational content for curious minds like yours. Thank you for joining us on this journey through hybrid electric vehicles. Remember, in the world of engineering, curiosity is your greatest asset. Keep learning, stay curious, and until next time, happy engineering.